one thing specific that you're like, man, I would just like to have this on my resume or say I did it at the end of the year? I mean, last year I set so many goals and I think all it did was like leave me disappointed in December. Not that amazing things didn't happen, but they were amazing things that weren't on my list. And so like you measured yourself up to this list yeah. and I would love to keep like pushing that list because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I didn't achieve it. So I should just be yeah, yeah, yeah. easier. And those things were like a viral TikTok song or like, you know, a, a 10 million streams on a song or like, you know, these yeah, ridiculously okay. arbitrary numbers that really don't mean anything. And then this last Christmas, I did a Christmas album and it was actually so much fun. It was like my most successful release ever. I got, we hit like a million on the album in three weeks or four weeks. Like it was crazy. And I realized that those songs I wrote, I didn't write for anybody other than myself. And we like, we wrote the one that blew up in like 45 minutes. We had so much fun. It didn't matter. And so, like, if I had a goal for this year, it would be to stop writing songs for, like, the trends, to stop writing yeah. songs for, like, popularity, and to just genuinely write songs that I think are cool and that, you know, I like. And I think last year I tried really hard to be, you know, like, keeping up with what was doing well. Like, Gail was, you know, top of the charts. Avril had just released her new album. And I was yeah. like, oh, I'm going to be this, like, super edgy, badass, like, chick. And that is so, like, from the outside, I look really mean, but I'm, like... A gooey more marshmallow cookie yeah. on the inside and yeah. i was like this is so not me and so you know my, my major goal is just to be authentic i don't know